Hello, my name is Sylvia. I'm a library specialist at Broward County. Today I want to cover an online resource not many people use called Hoopla. Hoopla offers movies, music, ebooks, e audiobooks, and so much more. Hoopla is a great tool to have. When something is not available in our collections, we always recommend patients check out Hoopla to see if it's available there. There are two ways to access Hoopla. The first is by using the Hoopla website using a laptop or a desktop like mine. The second way is to download the Hoopla application when using a smart device such as a tablet or a smartphone. I'll be covering downloading the application into a smart device, but you should be able to follow along as the application and the website have similar features. With Hoopla, you get eight credits per month. On the first of the next month, you get a new set of eight credits. These credits are use it or lose it. In other words, unused credits do not roll over to the next month. If using a smart device, the first thing you want to do is download the Hoopla app from your app store. Click on the search bar for Hoopla and download. Once downloaded, click open. The app will open and it will ask you to enter your email and your password. If this is the first time downloading and using Hoopla, you can sign up and create an account and link your BCL card. You will type your email and choose a password. It will then ask you to type your library and you will type Broward and choose it from the selection. Click on the Broward County Library option and by clicking Agree, you agree to the terms and conditions as well as their privacy policy. Now, type your Broward County Library card number and your PIN. Remember, your PIN is usually the last four digits of your telephone number associated with the BCL card. Now that you've successfully downloaded Hoopla, I will now cover how to access Hoopla from a desktop. App users can follow along. To access Hoopla from a desktop, you must use either Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Firefox, or Safari for your browser. Internet Explorer no longer supports Hoopla. Go to www.broward.org slash library. Under Quick Links, click on Movies and Music. Scroll down, and next to Music and Movies, you'll see the Hoopla link. This will direct you to the Hoopla website in a new tab or window. If you are creating a new account, you will click the Get Started Today link. Otherwise, enter your email and password in the upper right corner of the page and click the Login button. You'll need to accept its terms and conditions. On the home page, you can explore Hoopla's collection. On the top of the page, you'll see the Hoopla logo on the left side. This area is a navigation panel. If you hover your mouse over the browse area, you can search based on media such as audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. To the right, there is a search bar. It'll allow you to search for a specific item. If you click the Everything drop down menu, you can search for your item and narrow your search based on media or other criteria. To the right of the search bar, there is a kids toggle, which allows you to restrict content to family friendly results. There's also a gears icon at the left, which gives you access to the settings. From that screen, you can log out, modify features in your account, go to your library and modify which library you're connected to. You can go to your recommendations page and click which items you'd like to have recommended to you by the system of Hoopla. You can change your email or you can also change your password. Now that we know how the website is set up, why don't we check it out? We're going to start by doing a broad search. Let's say you're looking for anything regarding Lin-Manuel Miranda. In the search bar, we're going to type. As you type, you'll notice that the search bar is attempting to guess what you're trying to type. This is an excellent feature if you're unsure of what you're spelling or you're not 100% sure of the name you're searching for. You'll also notice that some of the results are already categorized. We're just going to finish typing his name and either click the magnifying glass or hit enter. You'll notice that the results have also been categorized, and there are different forms available. Under the image of every item, you'll notice a symbol. There's ebooks, music, 
movies, and audiobooks. On the left pane, you can narrow your search by the following, cate by the following categories. Format, release date, date added, patron rating, and language. You can also sort your results by clicking the drop-down menu over here to the right. You can sort by relevance, popularity, A to Z or Z to A, user rating, the date it was added to the Hoopla database, or the date it was released. Once you've found your selection, you can click on it, and it will bring you to a new page where you'll find more information. If you wish to borrow, click the blue borrow button. You could also click the heart button, which adds the item to your favorites list. Even if you don't have sufficient credits, you can wait until the next month and you can put it on your favorites list to access later when your credits have renewed. If you have used up all eight of your credits, you can get more next month. It automatically resets on the first of the month. So if there's something you wish to check out, but it is available on other service services, such as Overdrive, Libby, Axis 360, or Freegal, then check it out there instead. That way you can use that credit for something else. Keep in mind that you'll have three days to access your film after you've borrowed it. E-books and e-audiobooks have longer loan periods. This may not be appealing to some, but the upside is that there are always items available. Now that you've learned how to borrow an item, have fun exploring the website.